COVID-19 pandemic compelled the previous U.S. regime to seize its lawless assault on ordinary Iranians. Donald Trump betted on the myth that Iran is a nation that can be forced to choose between collapse and submission. We have all seen the outcome of that bet. But Trump was not the first nor the second, but in fact, the seventh consecutive U.S. president who has made and lost the exact same wager. With the new administration in Washington, there is an opportunity to try a new approach, but the current window is fleeting. Soon, my government will be compelled to take further remedial action in response to the American and European dismal failure to live up to their commitment under the nuclear deal. This remedial action, as directed by our parliament and in accordance with our rights within the JCPOA, entails an enhancement of our nuclear program and a reduction in our cooperation with IAEA inspectors. It can be averted only if the United States decides to learn from Trump's maximum failure rather than lean on it. Iran has time and again proven its readiness for engagement and cooperation towards shared goals and objectives with our neighbors. Our consistent aim in all our endeavors has been to build a more stable, peaceful, and prosperous region, and we have proposed initiatives in this regard. I hope that our neighbors will have learned that they cannot bank on outsiders to provide them with security. We need to rely on each other as geographers.